thank you on behalf of everybody for the time, uh, for your time today. And we're all very excited to uh, share our progress um, with this uh, vaccine. It's both a very, very exciting project because you could make a big difference. Um, so, you know, but we have made good progress and uh, Oxford University as an academic partner, we as a, a company, uh, but also Sepi Gavi, who are tremendous partners in this project. And we're absolutely delighted that you're making the time to, to visit the team tomorrow. It's a real shot in the arm for them. They have been working flat out every weekend, every night. You know, many of them with um, families affected by the lockdown. And it's a real shot in the arm for them that you're, you're coming to visit. Um, so we, we've essentially, as you know, shut down uh, the, the university for the, for the lockdown, except for those working on, on this COVID-related work. Um, and it's, we've all taken enormous pride in, in what they've done. I think many people tend to think of universities as a place where you know, 18 year olds go off to have fun, to grow up and ideally to learn something. But actually, and that's one part of what we do, the teaching is, is critical, uh, but research is the other piece uh, that has always been the driving force for us. And it's because of that, that our, our, our medical school has, has taken off over the past several years. The entire university is really enormously proud, but it is very much what we do. We have people doing cutting edge research without ever knowing if it's ever going to pay off, uh, if it's ever going to have practical impact. And uh, that's what universities like us do. And it's so exciting when it looks like this can have real significant impact. One of the things I'm fascinated by is why you guys were so far ahead of everyone else. There was some talk I, I read about the fact that um, your research team had identified, you know, a while ago that coronavirus was going to be the new kind of global pandemic problem. And so they'd already started just hatching a plan. Is that correct? Yeah, so the, the, the focus of the Jenner has really been on diseases that were likely to be emerging viral diseases. So they've had an interest in things like Ebola, but also malaria and, and dengue. So there's a, we, we've been really interested in these diseases that are likely to come from developing countries but become pandemics. It's the most incredibly exciting and very um, welcome project that you're all doing, which is why it's, it's fascinating. Having never always been interested in medical science, it's gonna be very interesting seeing tomorrow, you know, all the team and, and how, they, um, how they've gone about constructing this, <coughs> this project and putting it together and also being world leading. The, the other piece that I've been very gratified about is actually how um, our industry has come together to try and work out how we can help each other. So I meet on a regular basis with, uh, with my um, colleagues who run our own organizations around the world to exchange data information, understand where we have capacity, who can help whom uh, if we need to, to try and make sure we're not one repeating mistakes, but two also supporting each other. Um, but we've got the 10,000 patient study that's in the midst of recruitment. Um, we've got the Brazil study that's starting today, actually, with dosing my first patient today in Brazil which will then give us, hopefully all the manufacturing will be in place. We can then start vaccinating people if and when the vaccine is shown to work. I would like to thank everybody uh, who's contributed today and, and really kind of close by saying, again, it's been an example of a tremendous uh, collaborative effort across private and public organizations, either being academia, government or, or global organizations like CEPI and Gavi. Thank you to all of you for your time. I really appreciate it. I know how busy you all are and, and I'm, I'm conscious of keeping you, keeping you held up. But just want to say what a fantastic job you're all doing. And my family is very proud of everything that is going on here, particularly with the Oxford um, research side of things and, and the collaboration you're showing with AstraZeneca. I think it's, it's fantastic. And if we can amplify and exemplify what's going on here to the rest of the world, then like you said, Pascal, I think that's going to be the quickest and best way to, to, to end everyone's problems really um so please keep up the good work and just a huge well done so um yeah very nice to chat thank you thank you thank you so much thank you, thank you very much thank you very much